Hang on a second, that is taking it too far. Yeah, she did the wrong thing, but that's fucking taking it way too far. Hey banana bitches, welcome to another episode. So today's video is on Danny Mathers. She is a Playboy model who fat shamed a woman in a gym locker room by posting a naked photo of this woman with this caption on Snapchat. So here's the picture here. It's actually been blotted out, but it, it was she was full nude as far as I know. And um, Danny is putting like seriously, she's putting a hand over her mouth like gross. And she's written, if I can't unsee this, then you can't either. So this has really blown up on the internet. I haven't seen this level of hate for someone since, hmm, went, since they went after me, actually. So this is crazy. And you know what? Some of it is justified because Danny has really done a shit thing here. It's really rude. It's really inappropriate, unnecessary, and it's not helpful. How is that helping this woman, you know? Like, people might say, oh, Freely, you're a fat shamer. Freely, you're such a fat shamer. But the difference is, I actually try to help people. So if I'm like, hey, you can get great results by following a vegan lifestyle. You know, people complaining about their weight. I'm like, hey, check this out. This is a great way to improve your life, improve the animals' lives, people around you, and the planet. But the difference with Danny here is she's just pointlessly insulting this woman and putting her nude body on the internet, which is pretty crazy. So anyway, let's just have a look down here. So she's basically been, you know, being burned at the stake by people on the net and she has deleted her accounts on Instagram. Let's have a look. Danny Mathers Instagram. All right, so let's check it out. This is what remains of Danny's account. Danny Mathers, Playmate of the Year 2015, LA, 2,713 posts. So she's been on there for years, half a million followers and following 3,000 people. So let's click on it. Bam, not available. She has deleted it. The pressure got to her big time and she's like, fuck this. Everybody is just roasting me hardcore. So I'm going to delete my social media. Twitter, let's check out her Twitter. Where is your Twitter? So here, she wrote an apology and that's deleted as well. So let's go back and she did actually apologize for what she did. Let's check it out. I found this on, on YouTube. So listen up. Let's turn this up. I just wanted to acknowledge a photo that I accidentally posted here on Snapchat earlier today and let you guys know that that was absolutely wrong and not what I meant to do. I I have chosen to do what I do for a living because I love the female body and I know that body shaming is wrong and that's not what I'm about. That's not the type of person that I am. That photo was taken to be part of a personal conversation with a girlfriend and because I am new to Snapchat, I really didn't realize that I had posted it and that was a huge mistake. I know that I have upset a lot of people out there, but please, please believe me when I say this is not the type of person I am. I've never done this before. I will never do this again. You have my word. Okay, so just that is her apology, and I don't know, like I feel like, you know, her back's against the wall, so she's been forced to make an apology, and maybe she made a mistake, yes, people do make mistakes, for sure, like we shouldn't, you know, destroy someone's life because they made a mistake, you know, destroy them forever. So anyway, I found her Facebook page, which she hasn't deleted, so I thought I'd check that out, it's got 1.1 million likes on it. And she hasn't posted since July the 6th. I'm not surprised. But um, here's, a, here's a top comment. So the reactions are really interesting from people. So this, this woman says, Laurie says, there is no filter that can make you pretty when you are so ugly inside. She got 5,000 likes for that. And um, this person here, Gina, is replying to Laurie's comment and saying, you can be as skinny as you want, but you will always be ugly inside. You know, just hammering her, getting into her, but actually replying to Laurie, which is a little weird. Um, Natalie saying, and these are the kind of women I do not want my nine-year-old daughter to aspire to be like, self-centered ignorance. We go down. The people have just spammed every one of her photos, every single one. Okay, so you are disgusting. I will, I will have you know, not everyone thinks you are beautiful. I think you are as ugly on the inside as you are on the out. Your face is wide and your mouth is huge. You are not as pretty as you think you are. So that comment got 730, oh, it was 731, now it's 740 likes. 
And you know, it just it just makes me sit back and think, hang on, is this is this the right thing to do? Okay, because this girl has done something that is hurtful. Yes, we agree, it is hurtful. And this person is now saying, I'm gonna hurt you, and all these people are approving of it and making it personal about her looks. And you know, saying an eye for an eye is is what you know this girl deserves. You know, two rights. The thing is, two rights don't make a wrong. I mean, two wrongs don't make a right. You know, so when you're just bringing it down to that level and you're insulting someone's appearance like that, it's just it's not helping. It's not helping at all. But I see like this whole gang mentality happening, where people just start insulting her appearance because she is really attractive, and a lot of people are like, how dare she? Just because she's so attractive. You know, we should make her feel ugly too. That's going to make everything all right. If she feels ugly too, let's get her. You know, it's just, it's sad. It's really sad that people need to come down to that level and, you know, get so worked up about something which isn't even their business at the end of the day. You know, someone said that she should, she took and published a photo. She's a sex offender and should be charged and labeled as such for life. So this person is saying that she's a sex offender because she took this photo and said that and put it on Snapchat and should be charged and labeled as a sex offender for life. Hang on a second, that is taking it too far. Yes, yeah, she did the wrong thing, but that's fucking taking it way too far, saying that she is a sex offender. And it's actually been written here a few times. You should be charged as a sex offender. That's really crazy. That is really taking it too far, people. So Danny apparently has now lost her job. So everything is going a bit crazy for her at the moment. And I want to know what you think in the comments below. Do you think she is a sex offender? Do you think she deserves a second chance or she should be burned at the stake? What do you feel about people's reactions? Do you agree? It would be interesting to hear your comments in the comments below. So leave them down below. And I will see you soon. And remember, you don't need to like me. You just need to hear me.